Welcome to the Belfler Tire Shop Grand Falls Rapids post game show in 8 to 2 victory over the Valley Wildcats in what was a dominant game from start to finish. The Stars came out to play tonight. The Depth came out to play tonight. There was not one single person who didn't contribute on this Rapids team in some way. And I have to say, this was an incredible matchup. If you watched any of the highlights on Hockey TV or if you were here in person, there was not one person in this crowd that was not loud at some point during the game. And this just, it showed. The energy was electric, the team played incredible, and there were so many in great, incredible things that happened here tonight. And uh, we're gonna have Will Morrison, alternate captain of the Grand Falls Rapids, joining us uh, shortly, but we're gonna talk a little bit about this game and how incredible it truly was. So we'll get the game started off. They were down one to nothing at the hands of the Valley Wildcats. And going into this game, Valley was on a tear. They were ready to go and ready to get those two points, just as every other team would be. Uh, this was a, a huge, huge opportunity for Grand Falls to come in and halt that momentum. They go down early, one to nothing. Will Hartnell gets the uh, the first, the opening goal, but not six minutes later, Jonah leered with his set, his eighth, seventh of the season, rather, ties the game at one. That would be it for the uh, first period of scoring. Second period rolls around. Jonah Leard gets his eighth of the season, not to mention uh, he's been incredible. We'll talk about him a little bit more as well. Uh, Valley gets one back and ties the game. Aiden Bent. Jacob Pelchier gets the go-ahead goal for the Grand Falls Rapids. That is his first goal as a Rapid. First goal of the season. So we had actually two first goals, and we'll get to that. Uh, Brody Perry extends the lead on what was an amazing shot, just a perfect setup. And then furthering that lead, Dawson Grandy, who we just talked about earlier, was joining the Grand Falls Rapids, got his first MHL goal and his first goal as a Rapid as well. So an amazing overall effort, but it didn't stop there. Caleb McDonald got his third of the season, Jeremy Dastu with his second of the season, and Nathan Rhodes with his second of the season as well. It was a full, complete team effort. Nathan Rhodes with the solo effort, dances past the defense, pops it into the back of the net. One of the most beautiful goals I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of great goals as a hockey fan in my lifetime. This was overall the perfect game. And what made it so perfect was that, like I mentioned, everybody was contributing. The forwards were doing their thing. Uh, on the defense, they were blocking shots left, right, and center, literally getting back, putting their body in front of the shots, and making sure that those quality scoring chances did not hit the net. And that's something that they did extremely well. Adam LaCour, once again, as always, played out of his mind, was in his zone, was ready to go from start to finish, and he did an incredible job at making sure to shut the door and not let many of those scoring chances in. Uh, you can hear the energy behind me. It has been such an incredible game, and uh, everybody's obviously very, very, very excited that the Rapids got a huge win. They're now 3-6 and six on the season. They have another game against Campbellton coming up on the Sunday afternoon. But I think to, to say that this was their best game of the season doesn't really do it justice. This was a huge one, and one that was not only much needed, but a huge, huge victory for the guys as well. We're going to talk a little bit about that uh, with Will Morrison. He's joining us in uh, just a moment here. And uh, once again, just exciting. Will, welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you. This is a huge victory for the Rapids. 8-2 to two in the hands of the Valley Wildcats. The last time that these two teams faced each other, Valley got the win. What was your assessment of the game? You know, today, the message kind of all week for us was just to, to you know, build up to this game and build up to Sunday. Uh, you know, the game in, in Valley didn't go the way we expected it to and the way we planned it to or wanted it to. Uh, so all week we were focusing on preparation for this game, and I, I think it's safe to say it paid off. So. <laughs> And although you didn't play, you're still very much there hyping up the guys. Uh, what's the, how are you feeling after such a dominant win? Uh, it, it's, it feels really good. It feels really good, especially at home, uh, being able to come out with the victory. And 
and you know it's a different perspective from the stands but I, I'm still up there rooting for the guys up there and cheering them on so you got Campbellton on Sunday obviously a division rival one that you're all too familiar with uh, what does the preparation go in terms of getting ready for that game uh, I think it's it's a lot of the same stuff I mean Campbellton uh, has beat Edmonton tonight so that kind of sets the pace for us and knows what level we got to bring our game to so we're going to come in there and not underestimate them and, and you know give them give them a good run for the money. We've seen a lot of great talent on this roster throughout the course of the season, including uh, newly minted Rapids, uh, who just came in, actually. He scored his very first goal, Dawson Grandy. Uh, what if, I know that he hasn't been with the team very long, but your overall impressions of him so far? Man, he's a, he's a fantastic guy. He's a, even We've only met him uh, about a week ago, and he's just fit in right away, and, and he's, he's one of those guys who works hard in practice every day and he's he's there to get better and, and he takes it serious and on the ice you can see from his performance tonight that you know he's, he's got what it takes so it's, it's nice to see it. And another guy that seems like he's full of heart, Jeremy Dastu, a five point game for him tonight just seems like he's relentless out there. Yeah he's uh, he's been a huge addition uh, he, he's got so much skill and he's so smooth with that puck and, and it's it's you know it's just awesome to watch especially from up top you can, you can see it in a different way than from the ice surface and it's, it's really awesome to watch right? and of course having a great defense and great goaltending is something that is essential to the team you're amazing on the back end and Adam LaCour of course backstopping you guys to uh, yet another amazing win um, overall he just seems like he's been dialed in these last uh, last couple of games oh yeah Corsi is he's just a brick wall in the nets you know even in practice he'll get mad if something goes by him he's just he's just that type of guy and He's locked into the games. He's right in his zone, and you know he's he's a crucial part of our team. I, I think it's it's we'd be having a hard time finding success without that guy. Absolutely. And looking at the fans, I know that it took a little bit of time to get them going, but eventually they were all into it. They were ready to go and cheering you guys on through the second and the third period. How much does it mean to you uh, having that energy of the fans on your side? No, oh, it's it's amazing. It makes a big difference more than more than you think. Just kind of feeling that energy and being able to. To rally up with it and gain some momentum off even if we're we kind of dip down in the low part of the game but no it's awesome to see all the fans out there watching and, and giving us all the energy we need yeah and it's it's such a community uh, such a community thing that the hockey team has here in town it goes a lot deeper than just the rapids for some people this is everything there's three things that people talk about in grand falls on every monday morning it's what did you do this weekend? Who'd you have over? And how did the Rapids do? So it's something that uh, that I'm sure you've, <laughs> you've experienced at some point. Uh, being a part of this team is something that you've done for the last couple of years. What does it mean to you to put on that Rapids uniform every game? No, it's just, uh, you know, feeling proud, being able to wear that logo on your chest. And, and you know, we're kind of, like you said, we reflect the community in a lot of ways. And, and you know, being treated so well here as players, it's it's that's where we feel with pride when we... We can wear this logo and, and kind of show everyone what we can do and, and uh, you know, showcase the, the community well. There we go. Thank you very much for doing this, Will, and good yep. luck next game. Thank you very much. That was Will Morrison, alternate captain of the Grand Falls Rapids, joining us for this postgame. Uh, this was, a, a, once again, a really dominant win. We're very, very excited. I know the community is buzzing. Everybody is hyped up and ready to go. This is a good one. This will be one that people will remember, and it's the very, very big start of something good here in Grand Falls. I'm Tyler Raines for the Belfler Tire Shop Grand Falls Rapids post-game show, and we will see you on Sunday afternoon when the, ta the Campbellton Tigers roll into town to take on our Rapids, and let's get another two points.